Good morning, friends. It's Katie Steinberg here. And uh, as you can see, I'm not at the beach because we've had a lot of rain and lightning uh, in the area. So I am coming to you from my front porch. But that turns out to kind of be fitting. Isn't that interesting? Because uh, this season, so we just had, you know, Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, and um, kind of what happens next in that story is uh, a, a lot of people don't believe what they see. Makes sense. And there's this particular story when Jesus meets some of his friends on the road, called the road to Emmaus, and they don't recognize him. And um, so you may not recognize kind of this background or <laughs> where I am today, but um, at the same time, it just really is kind of feels right because, you know, my experience of kind of what resurrection means um, as we watch winter turn to spring, as we watch um, new life begin, I want to feel this dramatic moment where everything changes. I want to feel this sort of magic wand poof and it's all better. And that's not real. That's not how it really works. I mean, as we think about how winter turns to spring and, you know, it's slow, it's the leaves come back slowly, things eke back into life. And it's at some later point that we look around and go, oh, it's actually all green and new and alive again. Um, I think that's the same as we sort of come out of this pandemic time, you know, it's like we want it to be poof and it's over and we're all back to normal. And it's just not the story here. It happens slowly and there's ways in which it will always be different. It will never be like it once was. Uh, and that's true in this resurrection story too. Um, you know, Jesus comes alongside his friends that are walking and they're all depressed that he's died and they don't know that he has a different, uh, a different possibility, a different future going forward and, um, and they don't recognize him. They think they're nice to the guy they meet, but they don't think it's Jesus. <laughs> Um, and it's at some later point after they've walked and spent time together and actually eaten together that then they go, wait a second, I knew I recognized him. It was Jesus. And so while things, whatever kind of healing, you know, whatever kind of transition, whether we're, you know, resurrection to new life, whether we are winter to spring, whether we are pandemic to normal, whatever that means again, it's not going to be poof and then it's all better. It's actually some point later that we recognize that everything's different and that everything's new. The, the hope emerges slowly. My encouragement for you and honestly for myself is, you know, there's hard stuff that happens, y'all in life. There's hard stuff that happens in relationships. There's hard stuff that we just have to go through. Um, there are crucifixion moments and there are resurrection moments. And while we want resurrection to be where the story stops and it's all better, that's not how it works. We have to go through the hard part. We have to feel all the feelings that go with it. And then we will start to emerge out the other side. But we might not recognize it. We might not be able to see it until we get some point past it and look back. But we can have hope. We can have some confidence that the spring actually comes. That there is new life on the other side of whatever it is that feels like death to you that there is some kind of buzzword new normal after all the challenges we've been through over the last year. I hope that that can bring you some hope. I know it brings me some hope, even in the middle of the hard stuff, knowing that the hard stuff isn't where the story ends. You know, those old cliches that after the darkest night, 
the most brilliant morning comes. It's after the hardest winter that the most beautiful spring comes. It's in all the broken places that new life starts. So that's the hope I'm going to hold on to today, even if I can't recognize it in the moment. And I hope it's a hope that you can hold on to. Um, whenever things get hard, whenever there's that dark moment, there's still hope. We have to feel it. We don't get to skip it just because we know there's hope. But the best part's yet to come. This is just the hard part. But you'll get through it. Sending love to all of you and uh, sending hope and confidence that even when it's all rainy and we can't tell if the sun's coming up, that it is. That even when we've been through the hard stuff and we can't tell that the good stuff has started again, it is. And that at some point, we'll look back and go, ah, there it was. There was the hope, there was the resurrection, there was the new life starting right in among us, even if we couldn't recognize it. Grace and peace to you, my friends, this rainy day. Uh, stay safe, be well, and um, have hope. Take care.